In this tutorial, I will show you how easy it is to efficiently schedule a meeting, a sporting event, a party, or any community event by creating a poll using Doodle. Take a look at this example of the results of a Doodle poll. The poll results clearly identify which day works best for all or most of the attendees. As you can see in this case, Sunday, June 20th works for all of the attendees. Using Doodle, you can set a meeting date and time. No hassle with email threads, group texts, calendar invites, or phone calls. To make a poll with Doodle, go to doodle.com and click on Create Poll. That takes you to the first step, and you'll enter the title of the occasion or event. I'll use the title Status Update Meeting. You also have the option to add a location and add a note. That takes us to the second step, where you select the dates that will be the options for the attendees to choose from. You can use the Months calendar to select days within multiple months. You can use the Week calendar to select days within multiple weeks. Or you can enter the dates using the Text feature. That takes us to step three. On the right hand side, you can see that you can unlock some of the poll settings with the paid premium versions, but I'm focusing on the free version. So let's look at the left hand side. The first option, yes, no, if need be. Participants can indicate if an option is not ideal for them. If need be, in other words, I can make it if I have to. The second option, Limit the number of votes per option. First come, first served. Once the spots are filled, the option is no longer available. I usually don't select this option, but that's up to you. The third option, limit participants to a single vote. Participants can only select one option. I don't use this option either, but that's up to you and your situation. And finally, the fourth option, hidden poll. Participants' names, comments, and votes are confidential. Only you can see the results. I haven't selected this option yet either. And that takes us to the final step where you get to tell the participants who you are. So you'll enter your name and your email address. It's important that you enter the email address because that's where the poll results will be sent. It provides you with a link that you'll copy and send to all the attendees via email. Don't forget to make your selections and you should select all the possible choices because you made the poll. That's all there is to it and the first results that will show up in your email will be your results. Eventually the results will look like this after all the participants have identified the dates that are good for them. Finally you can close the poll, choose the final option, and notify the participants. We'll see you next time. Please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.